transportation in plants. At the end of this session, you will be able to know the function of xylem and phloem cells and explain transportation in plants. All plants need water. Plant roots absorb water and minerals from the soil. Water absorption is mainly carried out by root hairs. These narrow-walled hairs greatly increase the area over which water absorption can take place. Water and minerals enter the root by two pathways, apoplastic pathway and symplastic pathway. If water and minerals move from cell to cell through spaces between the cell walls, then it is known as apoplastic pathway. In symplastic pathway, the water and minerals move across the cytoplasm and finally reaches the xylem. Xylem vessels are long, narrow, hollow tubes containing no living material. The xylem transports water and soluble mineral nutrients from the roots to other parts of a plant. About 95% of the water absorbed is lost through the stomata present in the leaves. This process is known as transpiration. The number of stomata is more on the lower surface of leaves. If transpiration happens throughout the day, then there will be a great loss of water. This is controlled by the stomatal opening and closing mechanism. During the daytime, water enters into the guard cells along with the potassium ions. This brings about a change in the shape of the guard cells and the stoma opens. During the night, the potassium ions and water molecules leave the guard cells. Thus, the turgidity decreases and the stoma closes. Stomata also act as main sites of gaseous exchange in plants. Leaves make use of water and the carbon dioxide for photosynthesis. Glucose formed during photosynthesis is transported to the other parts of the body through phloem cells. Phloem tissue consists of less specialized and nucleate parenchyma cells, sieve tube cells, and companion cells. Transport of food in phloem can be up or down the stem to reach all parts of the plant. Hence, the transportation in plants is the function of xylem and phloem cells.